Assalamualaikum and have a nice day. I am Cik Gurila and today we will learn about matter. This is a topic for Science Year 5, Unit 8. Now, let's move to the three state of water. Water have three state, which are the first one, second one, and the third one. The first one is solid, second one is liquid, the third one is gas. So, activity. Okay, this activity we can try where we heat an ice cube. Okay, what is your observations after a few minutes the ice cube were heated? Okay, after a few minutes we heat. Okay, we heat this ice cube, the ice cube will melt, isn't it? So the ice cube will melt or start melting and then it will become a liquid. Okay, what happened? If the heating process will continue for another 30 minutes If we heat it for a few minutes We can see that the ice start melting And turn into a liquid And if we keep heating it Heating the water What happens? It start to boil The water turn into a gas So we call it as a boiling So water turn into from liquid Turn into into gas. Now change of the state of water. So from solid turn into liquid. So we call it as melting. From liquid turn into gas. Okay. From liquid turn into gas. We call it as a boiling. This one. From gas turn into liquid, we call it as a condensation. From liquid move or turns into solid, we call it as freezing. When solid turns into liquid, when liquid turns into gas, heat energy is absorbed. That means they gain heat. But the purple one, okay, heat energy is released. That means it losing losing heat or loses loses heat. So let's shake the eyes. Okay, this is one uh, very interesting experiment that you can try at home where we can put a we can put a large plastic bag with ice and then we put a sprinkle of salt in the ice. So what happened is when we put salt, salt is like a catalyst to reduce the temperature of the ice. So normal ice the freezing point the temperature of normal ice is 0 degrees Celsius but if we put the salt it can be lower than that and then what we can do is we mix fresh milk we add some sugar and vanilla essence and then we stir it and then we pour into a small plastic bag okay number three we pour into a small plastic bag and then we tied up the plastic bag with a rubber band and then we put into the large plastic bag the first one the large plastic bag that contain the ice and then close it tightly okay close it with the rubber band and then after that we wrap the plastic bag with a small towel and shake the bag for a for about 5 minutes and then what happened after around 5 minutes you are shaking it very vigorously and then you can enjoy an ice cream yeah you can do it and try it at home it's very interesting experiment experiment activity okay so now so boiling versus evaporation so boiling if something that a boil it reached the boiling point okay we can call it as a boiling evaporations it can happen at any temperature so here is the difference between boiling and evaporation so boiling of water usually occurs at 100 degrees celsius but evaporations can occur at any temperature for boiling it takes throughout the liquid it can happen from the bottom to the top okay it's boil boil the whole water are boiling but for evaporation it takes place 
at the surface of the liquid okay and then boiling the process occur rapidly but the process of evaporation occurs slowly it took time for example like you boiling a water but you forgot to turn off the the fire okay so at a moment after that you can see that the water level be reduced now let's see which one do I first okay this is also an activity you can try you can take a piece of A4 paper like this and then cut into four equal pieces okay and then you mark it with A, B, C and D A, B where is B? <laughs> oh A, B, C and D okay and then you drop uh, water okay three drop of water drop it to each paper and then place the paper at different place now let's see so the a you put in the room on the table second in the room in front of the fan the c we put you put it in the drawer and then d you put it under the sunlight and then can you guess out which paper would dry faster okay so in these situations actually the one that you put under the sunlight or in the room in front of the fan will dry faster okay so and then it will be on the table last in the drawer why because the rate of evaporation can increase if there is a temperature higher temperature under the sunlight might be the higher temperature okay higher temperature and then the flow of air okay if there is a flow of air if there is a wind it can dry faster so that's why next <laughs> guess what happened okay so this is just uh, an example guess what happened if you took an ice cream out of the fridge but then you forgot to put it back what happened yes teacher my mom will scold me and get angry to me why because the ice cream melt ah okay so that's what happened the ice cream melt the first time you take it out from the from the refrigerator or from the fridge it's still in the solid form and then you eat it very delicious but if you forgot to put it back it will turn into into liquid next second ah. <laughs> okay second this table is wet but you are too tired to wipe it so you just leave it for a few hours guess what happened okay if you leave it just for a few hours those water on the table will be evaporate and the table are dry okay you are so tired you are tired or you lazy <laughs> okay never mind so ah it was a hot day then you order an ice uh, then you order an orange juice once you receive the juice the glass was wet on the outside why this happened okay why this happened this is because of the condensation so condensation happen the air the water in the air water vapor in the air turns into water so it happened because of a different temperature okay okay so you can scan this qr code for extra note and exercise okay so i think that's it for this lesson we will continue in the next subtopic okay bye bye don't forget to like and subscribe bye